Julia, good to see you again. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing so well. You are phenomenal in this as you are in everything. So seriously, thank you for taking the time to chat with me. Thank you for having me. I'm going to jump into this. So I'm actually really curious as to what kind of access you had to, to Anna while you were trying to figure out how you were going to play her. And I guess more importantly than that, when it comes to someone who's kind of known for not telling the truth, how valuable access to her is anyway, if you can't necessarily trust what it is that she would be telling you. Well, you know, I had um, I, I had access to different uh, taped interviews that Jessica Pressler, the the journalist, um, mm -hmm. she interviewed her. That you know, they're not online or anything. Um, Shonda was Shonda Rhimes was able to give them to me, so I could you know uh, start the process of her accent and different uh, things that she does with her body. But the reason why I was also really wanted to meet her was to just capture her energy because I feel like energy is something that you can't really get from an interview because there's a camera on you. It's right. not unfiltered. So um Wait, did you meet her? Did you go Yes, I went to I went I went to Buffalo, New York to meet her in prison. And you know, the thing that I was the most surprised about was how uh charming how well you know I knew she was gonna be charming but how uh bubbly and charming and likable she was and how she went from darkness to lightness like so quick in, in a matter of seconds and then it all kind of came together and was like well that's why people were gravitated towards her you know and that made it more complicated but also the fact that it made it more complicated also made it more simple on why they were attracted to her um what so yeah, so that's really what it what it was. Which is why I'm glad you guys had the time to do this as a series and didn't try to squeeze it into a movie, which I thought was such a smart move. I, I've got to say though, to your point, there were moments that I was watching this where I'm thinking, look, I know what she's doing is wrong, but it's it's kind of fascinating watching her pull it off. So I'm, I'm genuinely curious, do you think Ruth Langmore would be impressed with Anna? I think Anna and Ruth would maybe first judge each other because they come from two two uh, completely different worlds, but then they would have a lot of respect for each other and possibly become best friends afterward. <laughs> right now, Netflix is behind the scenes. They're like, this sounds yeah, like, yeah. Have like a, a crossover. Have, like a, have a Q and A. Exactly. Uh, Anna Delvey and Ruth Langmore. You know, I, I've got to say, I am genuinely in awe of, of just how good you are with accents. I, I know you've probably been asked about this a lot, but I'm just sort of curious, do you master all accents the same way or is there a difference in how you approach Ruth versus how you approach the accent for Anna? No, it's it's kind of all, I don't wanna say the same approach. It's like, it's like doing a different movie, but approaching acting in the same way. Mm -hmm. You know, That's everybody has their own process and you know, I it's a different accent, but I approach, the preparation in a similar way, but a different accent. I, yeah. I know that obviously you'd, you'd have the chance to talk with, with Anna, but I was wondering if you could imagine sitting down and watching this with her. And then when it's over, leaning over and going, I what mean, did you think about how I did this? I have already a stressful time watching myself. I, I Well, listen, if Anna's gonna watch it, that's great. If she's not gonna watch it, that's fine too. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, I would, yes, no, I couldn't watch it with anyone. I freak out when I watch my stuff. I, I'm like the worst person to, to watch. So yeah, I, I don't, yeah, I don't know how that would be. I would, I would keep looking at her like, is this okay? <laughs> is it okay? Did, yeah. Did I, did I do that? Did I do that? Did I do that? Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, seriously, you have a, you should watch your stuff because it's really good. Like you're, I, do, you're fantastic. I didn't say I, I do watch my stuff, but you know, I, I str I'm like, was that okay? Was it, you know, it's I, weird. I, it's a weird position. Oh, to trust me. I, I totally get it, but I, I promise you it is okay. There's this show on Netflix called Ozark that you should watch. This just it's really good. You really? Should, I yeah. heard Laura Linney and Jason Bateman are amazing in it. They're, and he direct he directs it too, right? Yes, he he directs. Yep, you're absolutely right. And there's this other yeah. actress in it who's pretty good. And I think she's won some awards or something at some point. But seriously, uh Julia, I I love you so much. Seriously, Thanks. you're you're the absolute best. And and I can't wait to uh, hopefully talk with you for those uh final episodes of Ozark. Thank you so much. All right, take care. See you later. Oh, we're going.
knowing we don't need roads. <laughs>